Good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. September 30th, Monday, September 30th. I'm Anne Marie Green, and here's a look at some of the stories grabbing our attention right now. Widespread devastation across the South. Helene brought historic flooding and is being blamed for more than 100 deaths. So we are on the ground in the hard hit Carolinas. Uh, Israel widens its attack on Iran backed terror groups as Iran vows revenge for the killing of a Hezbollah leader. How the U.S. is responding to these escalating tensions. VP nominees Tim Walz and J.D. Vance face off in New York City tomorrow night. We've got a preview of the only vice presidential debate. This is the CBS Morning News. Well, the southern U.S. is suffering historic devastation from Helene. After making landfall last week, the storm tore through more than 600 miles and is blamed for at, at, at least 100 deaths across six states, more than 100 deaths. Uh, the bulk of the, these fatalities have been in the Carolinas, where local officials have described the flood damage as biblical, even apocalyptic, with water levels reaching unprecedented levels in southern Appalachia. And, and which is an area not used to this kind of weather. The FEMA administrator spoke about the devastation on Face the Nation yesterday. I don't know that anybody could be fully prepared for the amount of flooding and landslides that they are experiencing right now. But we have had teams in there for several days. We're sending more search and rescue teams in there. Well, CBS News correspondent Nicole Valdez is in Anderson, South Carolina. So, Nicole, you know, give us a sense of what Anderson has gone through, what, effort, what efforts are underway this morning.